Hi you two, welcome to drama for week 10. Last week we went into the Australian bush, we improvised a kangaroo, a dingo and an emu. We then recorded ourselves doing some improvising and we played what am I? This term we've done so much improvising and I'm so proud of all of you for really, really trying your best to improvise at home with brothers or sisters with your mum or your dad. And it's been really fantastic that you've been able to do this learning independently because it's not fun learning by yourself, but you guys have taken, taken the reins and you've really shown some maturity to do your learning and complete the tasks. So I'm really, really proud of all of you and you should be really proud of yourselves as well. So this time we've gone on lots of imagination journeys as we've been improvising. We have been to the farm, the jungle, the North Pole and the South Pole, the ocean, on safari and last week we went to the Australian bush. Today I want you to um, use our book Imagine. So we're going to read Imagine by Alison Lester and then I want you to choose your favourite animal out of the whole book. You then need to plan the best improvisation routine you can think of and record your improvising on Flipgrid. Now, I'd like you to see if you can think about using props or costumes or music or sound effects. You can use brothers, sisters, animals, mums, dads, plants, food, anything you like that's going to make your performance amazing. So thinking about what animal you'd like to improvise, I'd like you then to think about what props or what costumes you've got at home that can help you really get into the character of that animal a bit more. So if you're thinking I'd like to be a dog, maybe you've got a tail at home that you can use. Maybe you've got a dog mask that you can wear. Maybe you've got puppy dog ears that you can wear. Maybe you've got a toy bone that you can use in your improvisation. Thinking about where would your dog live? What would your dog be doing? Maybe you can show us where your dog eats or where your dog sleeps. And when I say your dog, I mean you being the dog. So really thinking about how you can improvise your animal in the most entertaining way. Remember, because when we're doing drama, it's all about entertaining our audience and making our performance entertaining and enjoyable for our, for the people who are watching. So think about how can you make your performance more enjoyable and what can you use? I'd like you then to watch this. This is a, um, part one of the book. So I want you to read the story with me. And then I'd like you to read part two with me. And as you're reading part one and part two of, of Imagine, I'd like you to be thinking about what, what is your favourite animal and how can you improvise or how can you act out your favourite animal in the best possible way. After you've done that, it's your turn. So you're, you, you should have already chosen your favourite animal while you're watching. You need to then get your props, costumes, your environment, so your acting space. You need to get that ready and practice your improvisation. It's really important that as actors, we practice everything before we perform. So I don't want you to just go and record straight away. I actually want you to think about and plan what's going to be in your improvisation routine. So plan out what you're going to do, and then you can film your improvisation by clicking on this link here. That's it for today, everyone. Have a great holiday. Look after one another, stay safe, and hopefully, We'll see you all next term. All right. Have a great break. Bye.